so it's easier to load and unload cargo. Also, when you swing open that tailgate, you also have closer access to another Honda exclusive feature, which trunk. is the trunk. trunk. Exactly. The in-bed trunk system. 7.3 cubic feet of additional space for your customers. That trunk is lockable, it is waterproof, and new for 2017, it's now part of the smart entry system. So when we put our keys in our pocket, we walk away from our truck, our doors lock, guess what else locks? The trunk locks, bam. So it is great uh, for all sorts of functions, right? Like we could put our purses in there as women, they're locked away, uh, they're not in the cab, someone can peek in the cab, see our purses in there, it's locked, it's hidden out of sight, great. Uh, let's say our kid was out in this mud all day, we don't want him to put the shoes in the cab and then we just have to vacuum it up later. Throw it in the trunk, rinse it out later. But we all know the best way to use that trunk, don't we? Party, party. Party, party, exactly, party, party. We're gonna use it as a cooler. It's an easy to drink cooler. So we're gonna fill them full of ice. What are we gonna put on that ice? Beer. Beer, anything else? Soda. Soda's water. Anyone have anything else they like? Tequila. Tequila, I like, who said tequila? You're my pal, you're my buddy, you yeah, know, I like it. Okay, so what we have done, we filled this full of ice, we've got beer, we've got waters, we've got soda, and you and I, we've got tequila, right? And when we have done that, we have started to create the ultimate tailgate machine. Yeah! Fun, 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 okay. So we're gonna have this awesome tailgate party. What else would make it so much fun? Music. Music, exactly. Lane keep assist. Well, that would make it fun too, but the, I think the music's going to be better. For the ride home. Okay, so um, so we have an in-bed trunk audio system. We have the world's first. And how did we do that? I'm going to show you how Honda did that. So we couldn't mount traditional speakers in the back of the bed, right? They wouldn't stand a chance. They would be rained on. Someone would hit it with their shovel or their toolbox. So instead, what Honda has done is they have taken six exciters, and this is an exciter, and they have mounted them behind the bed panels. So first let me go over speaker 101 with you. So a regular speaker, right? On the back of a regular speaker, you have a magnet. This magnet vibrates. It pushes air. It pushes air to make this cone vibrate. That's how sound is created. So on the back, of the panels of the bed, we have mounted two side, two exciters each, right? Two on each side panel and two on the headboard. These act like a magnet. They vibrate. And they are vibrating this panel. So that's how we are creating sound in the bed of the ridgeline. Each of these exciters has an output of 10 watts. So how many watts total in the bed? 60. 60, 60, because there's two, two, and two. Two, two, and two. So 60 watts. Now think about this. Inside the cab, we have 540 watts. So 540 to 60, it's like, is that really that good of a sound system? It actually is because the larger surface that we're vibrating, the less amount of wattage we need to create the same amount of sound. So have you all heard the sound system yet? Some yes, some no. We're gonna listen to it in a little bit, but just know this, at our ultimate tailgate machine party, we can play our team's fight song, The Louds. Yay! Okay, awesome. All right, so we've got the music playing, we've got, our, we've got our trunk full of ice, we've got beer, we've got water, soda, and we have tequila, right? Okay, so what else can we do? Who was that? What the heck was that? What else can we do to make our tailgate party super fun? Well, we have more options this year because on the right hand side of every ridge line is now a dry pocket. But if it's an RTLE or it's a black edition, what do we have? We have a 150 watt, 400 watt inverter with an AC outlet. What does that mean? Plug stuff in, right? We can plug in a small blender. We could plug in a TV monitor to watch the big game. We could plug in a crock pot, fill it full of game day chili to serve at our, at our tailgate party. But we really have created the ultimate tailgate machine because we have our cool. Oh, yes, we have. Oh, don't you shake your head. Yes, we have. I'm telling you, we have. Two chairs, too. You, you just wait. I'm going to get to that, mister. 
<laughs> we have, whether what you say is so or not, we've created the ultimate tailgate machine. We've got our cooler, and we've got beer, we've got soda, we've got water, we've got tequila, Diego. Uh, we have music playing from the bed of the truck, and now we can make fresh margaritas on the spot. You're going to tell me that's not the ultimate tailgate machine? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. So we can do more things in our ridge line besides have a party. We can also take it camping, right? So let's say we've loaded up our gear into the bed, but we pull up to the campsite and it's late. It's really dark out there. There's no street lights. Do we have to get out flashlights to uh, get out of Heck no, we don't. Every ridge line has lighting in the bed, but new for 2017, if it's an RTLE or if it's a black edition, those lights are now LEDs. And if any of you have LEDs in your home, you know that they're brighter, they last longer, it makes for great nighttime visibility in the bed of the truck. Also, those lights have been strategically placed so we can see inside the truck as well, so we can grab our uh, tequila Diego, right, and it's down to find out. Right, exactly. Okay, on our ultimate uh, tailgating party and at our camping trip, we can have so much fun because we can take along our Honda motorcycle we could take along our Honda ATV, we can strap it in the bed. And we can do that because Honda has integrated eight tie-down cleats into the bed, right? We got our tie-down cleats. Our tie-down cleats support how much weight each? 350. 350, bam, exactly. Also, our tie-down cleats have been double bolted into the steel structure of our bed. Yesterday, when you were doing your competitive comparison walk-arounds, I don't know if you noticed, but most of our competitors, they simply mount their tie-down cleats onto the bed rails. Our tie-down cleats can do the job of a truck three times the size. Yay us. Stay right there, don't move, we're coming to the bed. These fine gentlemen are doing a fabulous modeling job of our next feature, which I'd like you to know about in particular. There's additional seating on that tailgate. So there's that. Okay, gentlemen, nice job. Excellent modeling. You guys will all have contracts with Ford soon, I'm sure. Excellent. So that's a new feature for 2017. We have molded in seats. Actually, only two seats. You got the little baby weird seat, but two molded in seats into the tailgate. So with that party. So that's that's for I really that's really what it's for. There are two molded in seats. This also fits the uh, the tire of the motorcycle, but yeah, yeah two little bit of seats because everyone's going to be hanging around the ridge line. Okay, so the other way we open this, right, we swing it away. And like we said, when we do this, we have closer access to the bed, I can load and unload items, but let's say I need to get up in there. Well, this also has to access it as a handrail, right, Carlos? Yes, ma'am. So I can just hold this and I can step on up into the bed of the ridge line. So let's talk about this bed and talk about first its size. It's larger this year, right? It is five feet wide, five feet four inches long, but the most important measurement is that we have four feet of flat space, right? Four feet of flat space. There is no other mid-size truck that has four feet of flat space. Why is four feet so important? Plywood, right? Drywall. If someone's using this truck like a truck and they're going to Home Depot or going to the, I don't know, what's it called, the construction store, they can buy plywood and they can stack it up. They don't have to lean it up against the wheel wells, so we, they can stack more, they have to make less trips. So that's an important number to know. Four feet flat space, we're the only mid-sized truck that has that. Now the other big improvement for 2017, the bed, right? This is an SMC. Does anyone know what an SMC is? This is a sheet molded composite. It's, it's plastic with fiberglass. You've had plastic with fiberglass, the sheet molded composite, in your previous generation of line. But the difference this year, it's dyed instead of painted, right? Right, Mo? Right, exactly. So if any of you have been with Honda when we have the previous generation of line, you know that if someone took a shovel to the back, they scraped that paint off, right? If they threw their toolbox in, scraped that paint off. Now that this is dyed all the way through, those scratches are less visible. Also, the dye is UV resistant. So, this bed will weather without wiping. It's not gonna fade. This is big news, because it's gonna help with what? Resale value? Yeah, it'll also keep the ridge line beautiful for a longer period of time, but that is big news. Um, so let's look at that trunk, right? How many cubic feet? 7.3, good. 7.3 uh, cubic feet of additional space for our customers. The improvement they've made this year, you guys take a look, 
It is flat now. The floor is completely flat. You knew that, didn't you? I did. Mark, of course you did. It's completely flat on the floor. In your previous generation of ridge line, on the right hand side there was a hump because it was part of the uh, exhaust system, right? The, the silencer was there. So now it's flat. So we can put flat things in there. What are some flat things? Cool. Cool. A cooler. Exactly. We can put a cooler in there. And if we don't want to use the cooler as a cooler, we can put a cooler in the cooler. Cool? Cool. Okay. Remember the, the dry pocket on the right hand side. I have some other things to tell you. So when the engineers came in and they took the, the door for the dry pocket off. I was like, well, why didn't you just hinge it at the bottom? Why do we have to take this off? Put your right here. It, it can act as a serving tray. That's not the reason. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's not the reason. They did that because if it was hinged at the bottom and someone slammed the trunk on it, it, it would break it off. So they're so smart in giving us uh, so many great features and thinking ahead for us. So again, every single ridge line now has a dry pocket. But if it's an RTLE or if it's a black edition, you have this, the 150 watt, 400 watt inverter with an AC outlet. So let's talk about what we can plug into that. So first of all, the 150 watts. That can be used in accessory mode or while you're driving the truck. Now you have to turn that on. Just because you have the truck in accessory mode doesn't mean it's on. You have to go to the button to the left hand side of the steering wheel and you have to engage that, right? What can we do with 150 watts? Let's say we are, remember our, our truck bed audio system? Let's say we're playing that, we're having a little party, uh, and we're blue, Bluetooth, we're streaming our music. Well, if we do that for a long period of time, our phone's gonna die. So we plug our phone in, we have access to the music and our phone in the back of the truck. Perfect. Our contractors that are going to buy the, the plywood, the sheet, sheet wall? Sure. Sheet rock. Yes, so they, let's say they have tools. So they can take those battery tool packs, put it in that dry pocket, and charge their tool battery pack on the way to the next job site. Excellent. 400 watts. To use the 400 watts, the truck has to be running. Does anyone know what 400 watts looks like in an appliance or an electronic? A washer and dryer? I'd have to check that one. I'm not sure, but I was very surprised to learn that that gigantic 80 inch screen is only 306 watts. So you know how at Honda, we like you to create stories to help sell these vehicles. So I made up my own story. Are you ready for it? Here's my story about the inverter. I say we do this. I say we pull the ridge line on a ridge. Thank you. <laughs> at night, under the stars, we hook up that 80 inch screen, we connect it with our computer with HDMI cord, with Netflix, and we watch the notebook in the back of the original. You're shaking your head, Mark. Mark likes it. Mark's using the idea. He likes it. Yes, what you're talking about. You're going to be too, aren't you? Uh, yeah, you are. Awesome. Um, also, know this with the truck bed audio system and also the inverter, this truck is always going to protect itself and, and your customers. So if your battery is getting low, it will shut the embed audio system off and shut that off. Because wouldn't it be the absolute worst thing? We have this awesome slamming party, everyone's enjoying themselves, and we have to wait around for AAA to jump our truck. Not gonna happen because it will protect us all. Okay, the truck bed audio system. Some of you have not heard it, and we because we can't see the inverters, but we can hear them, right? So we're gonna, Christian's gonna start us up and we're gonna listen to that. Anything that you can play on that head unit, you can play here. All right, AM, FM, Sirius, Pandora. Right, we do the cabbage patch. And you can feel the vibe, right? Nice. 60 watts, it sounds great, guys. Um, you can use the truck bed audio system while the truck is in park or under nine miles an hour. My, my thought was that would be a parade vehicle, right? Yes. Or selling ice cream out of the ridge line? I don't know. <laughs> Under nine miles an hour. Those are, those are the two scenarios. One more thing I want to share with you, even though it's not part of the bed, it is part of our cargo system. Our second row seat has been improved this year. It is now stadium seating, so there's more room underneath the seat. So you can, and I think we have a set of golf clubs in there now. You can put golf clubs under that second row seat, put the seats down, take your floor with you, right? You can also lift those seats up, and uh, in the 60-40 split, like the magic seats, put a bicycle, uh, a, a screen, whatever you want in there. So guys, that's an overview of the awesome features we have on the bed of the Ridgeline 
Now I am going to turn you over to Leonard. So here's what we're going to do next. 